Welcome back to Primetime News and a special welcome once again to our viewers on OneSpotMedia.com. With some Petrojam employees facing allegations of fraud, the new permanent secretary in the Energy Ministry has revealed she is struggling to get information on donations. Now the details came from this morning sittings of par sitting of Parliament's uh, Accounts Committee, which is examining the damning Auditor General's report on the oil refinery. And I'm now joined by Andrea Chisholm. Um, Andrea, another interesting day in P at the PAC meeting. Yes, it was, Janella. There seems to be no end in sight to this Petrojam scandal. And today there were old and new faces as donations made by Petrojam took the spotlight. The new sheriff in town. I take my responsibilities very seriously, as I have been telling Petrojam from the 15th of February. I do not play around. Permanent Secretary in the Energy Ministry, Carol Palmer, almost blowing a gasket at Tuesday's sitting of the PAC. But how did we get here? Let's backtrack. In April 2017, the board of Petrajam approved a $9 million donation to Citizens Association 1. It's now identified as McCook's Penn Citizens Association, located in South Central St. Catherine, where former Energy Minister Dr. Andrew Wheatley is the Member of Parliament. McCook's Penn later told Petrajam to pay the $9 million to a contractor, Brighton's Engineer Limited, but the payment was cancelled by Petrajam in May 2017. There was an email from the um, or financial controller, from a CFO, um, that he would not be making any checks payable to a third party. Is that the financial controller who's on garden leave? Who, who, who made that intervention? Yes. I see. That's why he was sent out. Ah. Two months later in July, a board member of the Petroleum Corporation of Jamaica, Petrojam's parent company, submitted a letter from McCook's pen cancelling the request for the $9 million. Who is that board member of PCJ? Lionel Mary. That's the name. Sorry? Lionel Mary. Lionel Mary. Mary. It is in already in the public domain, Mr. Chairman, <clears throat> that Citizens Association number one said they wrote no such letter cancelling the request. The board member in question submitted a new request for the $9 million to go to Sydney Citizens Association, also in South Central St. Catherine. It was endorsed and approved by the former general manager and chairman of Petrojam. The Auditor General's report says neither McCook's pen nor Sydney was registered, and so that $9 million payout to Sydney is now being investigated by the major organized crime and anti corruption agency. Has Petrojam or the ministry made any attempt to recover this $9 million? As soon as the details are provided to me, the ministry will be doing its due diligence and will be taking whatever actions are necessary to recover public funds if they are not properly expended. Or I will seek advisement to send in the auditors there or the fraud squad. But why is the permanent secretary unaware of the details? I have repeatedly requested information on donations and I am yet to receive it. Information, as far as I know, have been supplied to the ministry. Following that response from General Manager Winston Watson, the Acting Chief Financial Officer Carleen Evans said the information was sent by email. I check my email before I go to my bed. Right? And after I've had my devotion in the morning, I check my email. I have received no email. Carol Palmer there insisting, Janella, that she has not received the information. What about donations from the PCJ? Was there any mention of that? Uh, yes, there was. They were also featured in the report. The Auditor General pointed out that 25 sponsorship awards totaling $30.5 million were not evaluated by the PCJ in keeping with the policy. And in addition to that, the chairman of a PCJ approved 10 sponsorships totaling $11.6 million, and those were not ratified by the board. Those issues prompted questions and responses from PAC members. Is he still the chairman of PCJ? As far as I'm aware, yes, sir. Mr. Chairman. The Permanent Secretary has indicated that the new minister is looking at
the composition of the boards. Mm -hmm. I would only ask that that be hastened because the PCJ board needs to be changed. Okay, now Andrea, you did say when you started that report, there seems to be no end in sight. When is the next meeting? The PAC is scheduled to meet next Tuesday, so we'll see what plays out there. Okay, thank you so much, Andrea Chisholm, there with that report. Archie, it's over to you.